Recently I have made a video about Jet Racer's steering rack problem. Um, so I bought this uh, Jet Racer's kit because um, I'm very interested in robotics and I think it has a lot of potential for generalized applications. Um, I think it's going to dramatically change our future for um, the next 50 to 60 years. So um, it's a pretty big undertaking. Um, so I bought this kit um, to help me learn a bit more about um, where I can start and be part of this great wave. So this is the kit that I got. It's, a, it's the Jet Racer kit. And the reason I got this kit was because it's got four wheels and it has a steering rack so you can uh, control the smoothness of direction as you go. Um, unfortunately, I think this kit is very, very difficult to work with. Um, so if you're somebody that's just starting off, I really don't think it helps to have a kit like this. Um, I think it's just going to be hard either way. Um, so this is not a kit that I would recommend and if I were to do it again I would not be buying this kit. It's just so many things don't work out of the box and the instructions they give are not great and the um, some of the things that they provide don't work just straight up so you have to do a lot of digging on your own and if you're going to do that, then why are you buying a third party kit? You should just probably um, go from scratch yourself. With that said, um, I do like to lo talk a little bit about um, the steering rack for this kit. Uh, so in the bottom floor, you have a servo motor that's connected at the front. And what you'll see here is that this servo motor has a um, little rotator and this rotator pushes the short rod that connects to the left wheel and then it also has a long rod which connects to the right wheel so unfortunately um, because the way they set it up no matter how much wider you adjust this um, this wrong rod the right turn is always never sufficient and I suspect the issue is because this um, servo motor um, just it only has 90 degrees of turn so if it can turn more then the right turn um, won't be that big of an issue because right now it turns um, more to the left than to the right so yeah, so because the servo motor choice they choose um, and this setup, so the right turn is never as good as the left turn. And right now I have the right wheel to have um, a little bit more toe in than the left wheel. Um, and that's just the beginning. Um, I also uh, had a chance to play around with the controller with this um, with this uh, Jetson board and unfortunately that control does not work on a Mac system uh, on Linux the input um, from the controller is able to be received but um, that signal does not translate into um, this system here and um, the machine learning library, uh, the machine learning examples they provide also don't work. So it's, um, at this point is almost a demoralizing, um, challenge. So I'm not going to touch this, um, for another month. And then when I get back, I like to take a closer look at the machine learning models and how those models um, apply to um, the, the Justin system. And 
I might have to um, build from scratch on um, something um, that's easier to work um, because the library and the board that they provide is difficult to look into exactly why they don't work. You know, at that point, I might as well just um, go from scratch. So here's an update for this, and so you hopefully understand uh, why I made that video and. Yeah.